One of the problems that I have with the way that sociology is often being taught, or obviously being taught, because so many people who are taking those courses end up saying some of these same things, and if that many people are having the same conclusions when they, when they hear this stuff, there must be something that's being taught. Now maybe that's not the intention of what's being taught, but that's what peop a lot of people are getting out of it, and so that's what I'm judging here. Anyway, one of the problems that I have is that people come out of it with all these very binary concepts. And yet, some of these same people are the ones who are demanding that people look at gender as non-binary. It's, it's kind of weird. You know, all these other things you turn into being binary, like racism, sexism, homophobia, transphobia um, you know, misogyny and then the one that they never talk about because they don't think it's real is misandry it's, it's like you never refer to it as there being a scale of any of those things there should be a scale at the very least. I mean, it's really analog, but if, if you could say you could come up with some sort of a scale, you know what, a nine-point scale or something. You know, one, two, three, four, that's on one side, then you have five exactly in the center, then six, seven, eight, nine. You know, so you have that kind of a scale, so there is an exact center point, right? Um, something like that for, for any of those concepts that would make a lot more sense just like the whole uh, um, the, the, the Kinsey scale okay the Kinsey scale makes makes more sense than than people coming up with all these fu this fucking terminology for things and then coming up with new new terminology because the old wasn't good enough you know <laughs> polysexual uh, 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 yeah I mean just, just the main ones that most people know you know homosexual heterosexual bisexual but then there's all these other ones that come up it's just like look okay if, if you want something that's not uh, so uh, you know, it doesn't just give you three choices then 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 go with the Kinsey scale right Oh, but I suppose that doesn't uh, that doesn't cover enough things. <laughs> we we need we need words to describe uh, the fact that we have certain very specific sexual interests next, right? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, um, but you know, things especially when someone talks about things like sexism or racism. You know, when, when just about everything gets turned into racism or sexism, it, 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 it lose. It, I mean, the stuff that's actual significant racism and sexism ends up getting ignored as a result. Ends up getting cheapened as a result. You know, if, if we keep expanding uh, the definition, let's say, of rape... Yeah, uh, if we do that, then real rape, or what we consider real rape right now, is cheapened. Because whenever someone says it, well, it could, it could potentially mean this, this smaller meaning. This more frivolous meaning. So, you know, if, if we're going to be expanding a number of, of, of concepts, then it's, let's at least... You know, allow there to be something in place that people can declare the severity of whatever that concept is. So, like I said, a scale for things like racism, sexism, homophobia, uh, misogyny, misandry, etc. Oh, but that makes it too complex. Well, guess what? It is complex. You can't simplify things that are not binary as binary 
And you should know this the most because you're the ones that are preaching continually about gender being non-binary. So, you know, take your own advice when it comes to, you know, stop thinking in binary. Thanks.